Hello, Meth. Renoixi, why have you come here again? Can you tell me about Enon Mil Frichtemen? I already told you. He is the god of a thousand faces. His spirits, which run in the rivers, carry our steps. They flow under the bark of the trees and whisper in our ears through the breeze. They are our father, our protector, our healer, and our gravedigger. They are the source and the cycle, but I doubt that some Renaixe could understand that. What is the role of a Tierna Hach Kadaktus? In every generation, all the Donegada of the island choose a Tierna Hach Kadaktas. She has to be the best of them all. She advises them and sometimes guides them. She must help them to remember that everything they receive must be given back, that we are part of a cycle. She must know all the secrets of the island, pass them on to those who are deserving and protect them from the Monisinoik. And no, I won't entrust you with these secrets. You are on all Menawi, but you are not a Donegad. I've come to ask you for help. My help? You still seek the remedy for the sickness on your island? Or are you looking for something else? My cousin has been taken, and I've been told that you could help me. Truly? And in what way? By performing the Anatalus Fair on the body of Katasach, the Donegad. Katasach is dead. Under Vosdire. This is a great tragedy. He was a good man. Perhaps the best of us all. How did this happen? He went with my cousin to a sacred site when they were attacked. My cousin has disappeared, taken according to a witness. And Katasak suffered terrible wounds. We examined him and it seemed as if he had been struck by molten rock. Fire of the earth? Only the Nadaig Maneman have the power to wield it. But none of our own would have attacked Katasak. This is why we need your help. We want to understand and to find who's responsible. And you will avenge the dead as you have avenged my wound in the past. Very well, Renoixi. I will help you. And I also wish to gain understanding. Our island wails in suffering. Many Sinol Menawi have died. The Anatalas Fair may kill me, but at least I will know. You will need to act as my Voglendaig and bring to me the necessary ingredients while I prepare. What do you require? A potion. And listen and remember. Or write in your language what I shall tell you. Do not forget, the viscera of the scavengers must be taken from a place near the battlefield, because they contain the flesh of those who fell. As for the personal object of Katasach, find his weapon because it knew his fury and his despair. He didn't have a weapon when I found his body. I'll search the battlefield. Where can I find him? In Duren's camp. She recovered him after the battle. Very well. Not far from there is a sacred circle. You'll find me there when you have united all that I need. Then we can perform the ritual when the moon is high. I'll go and get the ingredients you require, and I'll find you there when the moment has come. Safe travels.
I recognize this weapon. It's Catasax, I'm certain. It must have been broken during the battle. Let's take it back to Mev. to get dicey. Let's see if you can ward off this fate. Were you able to find the elements I need for the ritual? Yes. Here is what you asked me to bring. This is good. The moon is high. We may start. Take your place. Katasar, we have come to learn the truth of your death. Ato al confrangawi brandi, olehana memen adestame haman. 
Bara vridenan ta ha nemo kwa de grenpem. Linkui dam da renao te da hodogs. Lemat, de ta hawan kloj sam. De ta lugedon velam. De ta ragam buledam. De ta tamenam reloidan. A de ta lamen kante bai dam. En antelam per frak tango. Katasak, help me, please. Show no fear. I do not think he means you any harm. What is this? This monster? Why is it attacking us? I don't know. I don't understand. It is as if it seeks you out. It wants you. You never should have done that, Katasach. To save one, Renaikse, you put us all in great peril. His spirit is different. He receives badly. You have woven the bond of the Deathbringer. What is happening to you? Get a hold of yourself! Come on! I cannot believe it. He has returned. Who has? Finbar. The High King. We thought he was dead. He disappeared months ago. Is he the attacker? And what of Constantine? Have you seen a young, blonde-haired man? He was sickly. Yes. The golden haired was there. And he was afraid. Katasach protected him before he was killed by Finbar. Leave me now. I am very tired. How are you feeling? Better. What are you going to do now? If I want to have any hope of finding Constantine, I must follow Vinbar. I have no choice. I will need to return to his sanctuary in the north of the island. He must be hiding there. You know where he is? Yes, but I wasn't able to enter. I have one seed, but I need another. Vinbar is a very powerful Donegat, as well as being the Hoi King. He has access to knowledge that even I cannot attain. He has seen the true face of an old mill Frichtim. His secrets must be well kept. And he would only have shared them with those he loved the most. Yes. I must find Sela. She is certainly the only one to know which seed is needed. Thank you, Mev. You have helped us greatly. Do not thank me. I have not done this for you, but for Katasach. In order to satisfy my curiosity, I betrayed my king. You will find him, and confront him, no doubt. All that remains for me to do is to pray that I have done nothing that cannot be fixed. Farewell, Nef. The seed that I have is not enough. I need to find Sarah. She might be able to help. Let's return to the village.
And so you have left the cavern, Renaixe. And here you are again. I have no idea why you suddenly decided to shut us in there, but it matters little. I must know what second seed is required to open the door to the sanctuary. Now, more than ever, we must find Vinbar. He slew Katasak, and he holds my cousin captive. Vinbar would not have killed Katasak. He respected him. And why would he bother with your cousin? I have no idea why, but I know it to be true. The Tiana Hach Kadaktus revealed this to me. Would you accuse her of lying? No. You are the one who lies, like all the other Renaixe. And I thought that I could trust you. I should never have let you enter the cavern. And even less have allowed you to leave there alive. Eight more! But if you yeah. know my blades, yeah. and let's go! Move away! Yeah. These are about to get dicey! Yeah. Yeah. Now that we have both seeds, the ritual should work. King Vinbar, why? Constantine didn't do anything. He has never sought to wrong your people in any way. Like a worm, he burrows. You are so naive. You cannot see with my eyes. In all mere 
Ulrich Timmin saw the wound. From atop the volcano, he warned me of the danger. Fed by bitterness, driven by desire, taking without giving, he will be the end of us all. You have gone completely mad. Take it. You are too blind. Too Renaixe to understand. Leave him! Be able to free Constant. Constantine, wake up, please! I beg you. Hang on. We're bringing you home to get you healed. Three days have passed since we returned. I need to go to the palace to see if Constantine has finally awoken. You should get some rest. You're not being reasonable. To hell with reason. I've rested long, and I'm well enough. You've just barely woken from a stupor that had you on death's doorstep. The affairs of state can certainly wait another day. Let <sighs> Thank you, my lady, but I am amazingly well. You can take leave of me with no fear. 
I assure you. He just escaped a deathly sleep, and here he is ready to conquer the world. Your cousin is exasperating. <sighs> what now? Are you going to scold me as well? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just relieved to see you're still alive. I'm quite relieved myself, actually. Thank you, cousin. Without you, I would be dead thrice, wouldn't I? Or is it the fourth time? If we start counting the time you stop me from climbing the ramparts of Serene, we'd be up to five times now. It's unbelievable. You feel no pain whatsoever. And your complexion. <sighs> I haven't even taken a look at myself. Is the improvement visible? I wouldn't go that far. How is it that... What happened? Don't make that face. It's merely a major miracle. Come on now. I'm gonna tell you everything. We have been waiting for your return. I knew you would do everything in your power. I have always trusted you, but Katasak feared that I would not hold on long enough. He spoke to me about a ritual that would help me. I was excited about it, and in spite of all that has happened, I don't regret following him. We went to the ancient site, a place full of magic. I followed his instructions, and all of a sudden, what? An incredible sensation. I felt better than I have ever felt, cousin. Alas, we had very little time to celebrate. Cries came to our ears, and beasts jumped all over us. We fled for a while, as other soldiers fought through, creating a path to join us. But I can see from your face that you know this already. Indeed. Once on the ritual site, I followed your tracks and deduced what had happened. It seems that Vinbar was targeting you specifically. Did he say anything to you? I was still very weak, and most of the time he whispered in his own language. It seemed that he was speaking to someone and following his orders. But there was no one other than us, cousin. The crazy madman must have been hearing voices. Do you have any idea why he didn't kill you like the others? No. No, not really. It seemed like he was trying to tell me something, though. He spoke about isolating me from the world, that I couldn't return to the Earth. It made absolutely no sense. But aren't you happy that he let me live? Don't speak foolishly, of course. I just want to understand. Tell me more about this ritual. What did it consist of? It is, I think, a ritual that the Done Garda practice to bind themselves to the island. Done Garda? Katasak taught you their language? Just a few words. He wanted me to learn, to understand, but we had so little time. So he visited this infamous site, where he prepared for me a sort of potion. What ceremony! I had to cut my hand in front of an enormous stone, and there, a gigantic beast came, and started circling around me. It was incredible! I truly felt a bond with that place. Like a wave came through me, as if the power of the island was running through my veins. It was marvelous. And now I am on all Manawi, like you. Even if the Malachor left me a few of its marks. But you had to encounter the god of the island, didn't you? How was Enon Mil Frichtemann? Yes, I passed a trial for that. But the only one who could guide me to the sanctuary is dead. Oh no. Do not tell me. And yes, only the High King can open the sanctuary according to Glendan. I have no choice but to return to see him. I'm certain they are going to name a successor.
Good day, Glendan. Beort Tirtomat, Karans of Katasach. We learned of his death. Undevorst Tire. Alas, his was not the only tragic loss. Your High King, Vinbar, is also dead. He was taken by folly. He went away into his mountains after killing Katasach and capturing my cousin. Nothing I could say would allow him to see reason. Are you telling me that you were the one who killed him? Kerton Sedak? What happened? How could a friend of Katasach do such a horrible thing? I'm sorry, but your High King did not leave me any choice. He was at the point of killing my cousin and then he attacked me. He was becoming a guardian, a Nardaig. Perhaps it was for that reason that he lost possession of his wits. I believe you. You have sufficiently proven your friendship. But something escapes me. Why? Why would Vinbar have done such a thing? His offering to Tiafradi does not justify what he did. You know that I wish to see Enonmil Frichterman, and he was the only one with the power to allow me to do so. I would not have caused his death voluntarily. Believe me, I'm just as sorry as you. Undevorst, Tire. We will celebrate his memory as well as those of all the members of our council that have fallen. Vladnit, Katasak, and now our High King. These are dark times, but in spite of our mourning, we must elect a new High King. The children of Tiafradi cannot remain without a guide. All the more so in these troubled times. I will notify the Mal of all the clans, so that they may know to travel here. Who has a chance of being elected, in your opinion? Deirdre is powerful, and many clans would follow her. The wisdom of Dunkas will also attract support from many. And there is also Ulan, a clever fox who is very capable of convincing the entire world with his honey-dripping words. Deirdre, Dunkas, and Ulan. I must convince them to help me if they are elected. I suppose. I must begin the preparations. You must leave now. I must leave. Goodbye. Qua awelem seg. Manali. I heard you met Vad and some other members of my clan in the area around Edagol Kredal. Anyone who treads that sacred land runs the risk of unleashing N on Mil Frichtemann's wrath. You'd better steer clear of the area. Yes. Your Donegada warned us. When you see Vad, give him my thanks. If it weren't for him, one of my friends would probably be dead, poisoned. That is the task of the Donegada. Helping others when they are in need. I'm glad he could help. 
I'm the bearer of bad news. Vinbar, your high king, is dead. Ande Voshtire. He was a great king, and a very wise Donegad. We haven't seen him in a long time, but his memory shall be honored. Glendan told me that you would probably be among those who would want to take his place. I am not looking for power, but Tiafradi needs peace and balance. And I fear the other kings may want war, or be motivated by ambition. The Renaissance brought chaos with them, and our island has suffered. We cannot change the past, and chasing away those who came does not make sense. The wound is there. Refusing to acknowledge it is pointless. But wounds can be healed, and my clan knows how to do this. So if you're worried about my intentions, if I were to become Hoi King, I'll lay them out for you. We must find balance with those from the remote island and live together in harmony. But for this, we must teach the Renaixe humility and to respect the earth. I would like to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann in order to find an antidote for the disease that is destroying my people. If you were elected, would you help me in this endeavor? You are a Karantz of our clan. And I have witnessed your wisdom and benevolence. I would be glad to help you meet Anon Milfrichtemann. And I pray that he will help your people. But you should know that my election is far from certain. The spirits are divided, and some are thirsty for revenge. Would there be a way to make sure that you get picked? I do not like the idea of using such a method. But yes, there is a way. The High Kings of old wore a legendary crown, said to be a gift from Enon Mil Frichtemann. The one who became the first guardian is believed to have taken it with him in death. If someone were to wear it in these troubled times, they would definitely be chosen by the others. And where can I hope to find it? In the burial mound of the High Kings near the village of Vignamri. But it is said that the path towards it is strewn with spears, and that its entrance, situated near a large dead tree, is guarded by a Nardaig Magamen. It is a deeply holy place, and a guardian will not let anyone enter without a fight. If you do decide, if you, if you do decide to go there, fill your heart with humility and respect. For those who... Now we have earned the trust of one of the pretenders. We just need to find that crown. Are you certain that you've chosen the right ally? If not, we can go and find another. What's a little menial work when compared to the fate of this whole island? You're right. It's a decision that's more important than our quest for an antidote. I must dwell on it.
What are you doing there? Here lie those who fell facing the first invaders. And you dare enter and scatter their bones. I did not come here with the intention of defiling this place. No. You came looking for a crown of the High King, hoping to choose the one who will lead us. Isn't that what you are looking for as well? Yes, but I am not a Renaikse. I wish to lead my people to victory, and I have come here seeking something that will make it a certainty. And so? Do you plan on keeping it for one of those who is too wise or cowardly to come and get it themselves? Or will you give me the crown? You need, first of all, to assure yourself that she will help you enter that damned sanctuary. Do not forget that this choice goes beyond the destiny of the sick alone. It is all of the colonies of the island that will need to learn to swim if she is queen. If I give you the crown, you shall be named High Queen. What will you do with this power? You have already shown to all that you are not like the other Renaikse. I will not hide from you the truth. Tiafradi does not want to welcome your people. They toy with us, take without returning, kill and pillage. I will unite my people and cast all of the Monesenaig into their ocean wagons. They will go and pillage elsewhere. You want the crown so you can more easily rid yourself of my presence afterward? If you give it to me, you will become our Karants. And we do not chase away our Karantem. And also, you are on all Manawi. You are bonded to this land, not to theirs, no? I have come here looking for this crown, because I need the help of the next High King. I must meet Enon Mil Frichtemann to ask him to heal my people. Are you sure that they are your people? Very well. It is a very great honor you ask of me. But you took great risks in order to obtain it. If you give me the crown, I will open the sanctuary to you. You may speak to Enon Mil Frichtemann. I swear this to you. Sorry, Deirdre. I believe someone other than you must become the High King. Someone more easily manipulated, who will obey the orders of the Renaikse, no doubt. Too bad. You leave me no choice. I have come to take that crown, and I won't leave without it. There's poison on my ground. And let's go! Get to my house! Enough. I accept my defeat. Take this crown. I am not worthy to wear it, so it seems. So it seems indeed. We will meet again at Dorhad Genedu. Until then, Dirdra.
I went into the tomb. I found the ancient crown of the High Kings. And so, you entered into one of our most sacred places. May this adventure have brought you wisdom and understanding of our people and of your own history. This relic is venerated. The one who wears it will certainly be elected. But you know that, do you not? Yes, I do. I need to be certain that whoever is named will help me meet Enon Mil Frigdeman. Oh, I have pledged my honor to help you and my words are true. But more is being played here than a simple meeting. You know that I work for a tempering of spirits, the healing of wounds of Tifredi, and those of your own continent. But the decision is yours. To the sun that was lost and refound on our island. Take it. I trust you. In your wisdom, may we be guided towards a peaceful future. The council has begun to unite. It is time for me to go. Thank you for choosing me. I will do all in my power to bring you what you desire. You have my promise. Congratulations, Dunkus. I'm certain that you will be a very wise High King. And now, are you ready to keep your promise and take me to meet with Enon Miel Frichtemann? You are burning with the impatience of youth. But according to tradition, I must first go to the sanctuary on my own. Without the blessing of Tifradi, my title is nothing but empty, meaningless words. But fret not. How could I be called wise if I went back on the promise I made my friend as soon as I got elected? Meet me at the sanctuary's entrance in two days, and I will open its doors for you. Thank you, Dunkus. I'll be there. <sighs> I hope you have some cards or dice on you to pass the time, unless you'd rather go somewhere else. There you are, Karantz. How was the encounter? Enon Mil Frichtemann welcomed me like a mother would welcome her child. Or you will have to meditate on everything he told me and think about the warnings he gave. But now he's waiting for you. I will open the way. Once you are in the sanctuary, always stay on the right-hand path and keep a confident heart. Those who let doubt take hold of them and turn back risk awakening the guardians of this place. Kwa Aulam Seg.
child that was taken has returned the flesh of my earth. You, by simply coming into being, have tangled the strings of destiny of all the other children. I am he, the own and on me three men. I have followed each of your steps since your arrival. I hail you, Enon Mil Frictimen. I have come to you to find a remedy. A cure for the disease of a distant land. Her affliction was to be poisoned by her own children. Her veins rocked in stagnant water. Her earth now bears poison fruit, and her children wither and die. And still it is those same children who can heal the lands, and with them heal themselves, if they only want it truly. They could be told by my children, learn to give back in return, learn to heal. But for that, I must survive. I have seen by your side the shadow grow, taking form. Fed by the venom of intrigues from faraway lands, he spreads it today in my sap. To save his own life, he stole my strength, and that strength has driven him mad, because it is not made to be taken. He draws each day a little more from me, and threatens us all. His hunger has no limit. I don't understand. Who are you talking about? The one you call Constantine. You must stop him. Or there will be no cure anymore for anything or anyone. That... that's impossible. How could that be? You must leave now. Someone has followed your footsteps. Someone has entered here without invitation. My children are waking and tracking. They will attack all from my, ch my children are free, or you will be their victims. I saw a man running out of the sanctuary, and I heard the cries of creatures inside. Is everything all right? Did you manage to get the answers you were expecting? Yes. He told me that the Malachor had appeared because of the way the Colonials have treated the Earth. It's actually some kind of poisoning. And it would be possible to cure it, but I'm not sure that I understood how. Words that come from the heart of the island carry with them a wisdom which may sometimes be difficult to grasp. If you need help, I would be glad to be of assistance. My clan knows how to heal the earth. Thank you, Dunkus. I suppose I just need time to think. You haven't told me everything, have you? There appears to be a storm weighing down on your forehead. It is true. 
But it is something I must verify by myself. Oh, I see. Do not hesitate to come and find me if I can help you. Kwa aulum sekarans. Goodbye. My dearest cousin, I am so glad to see you. You are right on time. We have visitors, and your advice would be most welcome. Let me introduce you to the emissaries of the Bridge Alliance and Teleme. Seeing them both in the same room is rather surprising, isn't it? But please, your excellencies, explain to us what brought you here. Sire, I have come to humbly request your help. We have been sustaining terrible attacks. Really? Are the natives behind this again? Unless it is those traitors of the guard. We aren't sure, but it is almost certain that the natives are involved. Governor Burren is hoping that you could send him your cousin, as well as some troops. It would seem that we are in a similar situation, sire. Our city has been sustaining terribly violent assaults, and our losses are great. Our mother cardinal is begging you to send her some help as soon as possible. <sighs> Dear allies, knowing that you are in such a delicate situation fills me with sorrow. However, the size of our troops has greatly reduced after the horrific attempt at a coup. And regarding sending my cousin, he's already very busy undertaking a mission of the utmost importance, without even mentioning the fact that what you describe fills me with fear for his life, which is most precious to me. <sighs> no, I really don't see how I could be of assistance to you. Constantine. We cannot remain deaf to the call of our allies. I'm sure I can find time to go and evaluate the situation. I would love to accompany you, but my people are being wrongfully accused. I am certain of it, and I want to prove it. Very well, my dear. You know I cannot refuse you anything. But remember how urgent it is for this antidote to be found. We are so close to it now. Don't worry about it. You know how important this mission is to me. Well. This audience is coming to an end. Your Excellencies, inform your governors of my cousin's arrival. I hope that you realize how grateful you should be to him. Absolutely, sire. And we thank you both for receiving us. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Constantine, my dear cousin, I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? I finally managed to enter the sanctuary at the heart of the island, and I was able to talk with Enon Miel Frichterman. How marvelous! Tell me about it. The sanctuary is heavily protected. Only a high king can open it. <sighs> I remember you saying that Vimbar's death wasn't going to help us. How did you fix this problem? I had to interfere in the natives' elections and earn the trust of the pretender who seemed to be the best choice. You really are an outstanding diplomat. My father is an old, bitter man, but he was right about you. Tell me, who did you choose? Dunkus. He's the king of the village of Vigigador and a Denegad full of wisdom. I am certain that you have made the right choice. And then what did you do? I was able to enter the sanctuary. It was an incredible experience. It had to be. Oh, how I envy you. Entering the most secret places on this island, talking to a god. What does he look like? 
Is he some kind of very old and very powerful Donegad? No. In fact, I spoke to an extremely large tree, as strange as it may sound. Fascinating. And I thought that gods were always old bearded men. Did he tell you where the Malachor was coming from? Is it a curse that he cast upon the first settlers? No. According to him, we are responsible for the emergence of the Malachor. By exploiting the Earth so much, we have poisoned it. And the disease has contaminated us through the water that we drink and the plants that we eat. Strange, and yet it seems plausible. So, there wouldn't be an antidote? He says that the Earth can be healed. That his children know how to do it. I suppose he was talking about the Donigada. He also said that by healing the Earth, we would heal those who live on it. This is a fascinating revelation. It won't be easy for our neighbors to accept it, however. I'm afraid that even my father might receive it with skepticism. Did he tell you anything else? Yes. Something rather disturbing. He talked about you. He said his existence was in danger because of you. Really? But that doesn't make any sense. I never hurt anybody on this island. Unlike our neighbors, I have never abducted or tried to convert islanders. I don't think that's what he was referring to. Cousin, please, you know me. I have made some mistakes, but I never threatened anybody. The only person who I put in danger is you. And you know how sorry I am about that. Yes, I do know. Forget about it, will you? This god manifestly wants us to pay for the sins of our fathers and to have his revenge for the invasion. By sowing the seeds of discord between us, he's probably hoping to weaken us. Do you realize that you have succeeded where everyone else has failed? The whole continent should be thanking you. Is there anything you would like to tell me? I must take my leave. Take care, and come back soon.